The Wild Atlantic Way is the longest defined coastal touring route in the world. It stretches for 1,500 miles from Inishon in the north of Donegal, right the way down along the coast to Cork in the south. We're sitting here in what we call the Meeting House in Knuxoon, an old 17th century hill village in Connemara, which we've spent the last 15 years restoring. So our whole idea was to create a place that would highlight the, the culture and the natural environment of this part of the world. The rugged coastline has been formed by the, the elements. The wind and the rain have etched out small inlets, um, dramatic cliffs. And as you move along, you'll have the Atlantic on one side of you and spectacular scenery on the other. Ireland as a whole has seen a huge increase in the interest in organic food, which has led to a vast array of artisan foods to be found down along the Wild Atlantic Way. One of the big features is the seafood that can be found in all the little fi fishing villages that punctuate your tour down along that route. The local pub is an integral part of Irish society. You'll often be enticed to sit down by a fire and listen to some stories regaled by a local that can be uh, tall and short. My wife, uh, Derville, is a musician and she often plays music in the local pubs. Music has always been a very much part of my life and of the people in this area and down along the Wild Atlantic Way. Canucksoon is a 25-minute drive from Galway City, and Galway is often referred to as the city of the festivals. There are great towns along the way, um, including Donegal Town, Sligo, Westport, um, and Tralee. The Wild Atlantic Way is a journey to experience for the breathtaking views, the spectacular landscape, the rich culture, and most of all, the friendly people who will make you very, very welcome.